What's happening? We back at it again. Another Saturday morning. Another episode of the Man to Man Picks. I want to have the Man to Man Pod answer up a day. Got my co-host D Buck. Yes, sir. Man, what's going on this good Saturday morning? Man, not too much. Slow motion. Trying to. It's mm-hmm. a, hey, I looked at this slate of games. Been looking at them all week. Tough, tough slate yeah. to pick. Yeah, especially when yeah. you're trying to get, trying to climb out of that hole like me. Nah, for sure, man. It's that time of year, man. November, November, December. Um, eleven already. Yeah, pretenders and contenders, man. So this is when the contenders, man, they make they push, man. So let's jump in short. Let's do it, man. I actually saw Mike Rob calling this a uh, separation Sunday. Hey, hey, I like see. that. Sure, <laughs> right now, man, week 10, I was six, six, seven, and one against the money line, four, 10 against the spread, stank. Um, stank. Overall, 90, 60, and one against the money line, 74, 77 against the spread this year. Yeah, so on my side, the. Everything we should be on point six, seven, and one, same four and ten against the spread, 96 and one money line, but uh, 69, 81 and one against the spread. So I gotta have a big week, I gotta have a big couple weeks, yeah, to get yeah, right yeah. going into these playoffs, man. But hey, you either do or you're hot, all right? So hopefully, I'm due. Hmm. So we started off, we started off week 11 on the, on the right foot. 25 the donut new england Patriots mm-hmm. went in the atl and um and beat the falcons my man d butt was kind of on the fence and that's and a that's, da- a- that's a damn shame you supposed to, we supposed to be dogs man you supposed to be big bro I'm supposed to be looking out I, I put you out there too right on blast trying to peer pressure me into some bullshit. but uh i'm glad i'm hey. glad i i got i got my shit together right there at the end took pay, uh t- took the patriots with the six and a half points, they had the business. The Falcons actually it actually turned out being a stack game for the defense. Falcons came and put three quarterbacks in the game. They all threw picks. Mm. I don't think I ever seen that before. Wonder what that quarterback room looking like. Man, they, they're looking like somebody farted today. <laughs> but uh, all right, it's a stinker to start off with. Oh and eight, oh eight and one. I'm sorry, I apologize. Tied last week. Oh eight one Lions. Going on the road to Cleveland to visit the Browns. Five and five Browns. They are 12 and a half point favorites. Which way are you going in this one? I'm going Cleveland Browns, man, but I got the Detroit Lions covering. Um, I think the Browns uh, bounce back. I think uh, the Detroit Lions, man, I think they take another L this week. So Cleveland Browns, but I got Detroit Lions covering. I got the Browns too. And I'm going to go with the Browns to cover. I'm gonna go to Browns and cover. I've been picking Detroit to cover a lot. Obviously, covered last week for me, but um, I think the Browns, Browns, and they, they, they kind of the crossroads. If this is really they separation are. Sunday, I know we came. I know I came into the season with high, you know, high hopes for them. Thought they were gonna do some things. So um, this is the point in the season where they got to win a game like this and win it decisively. No so uh, I think they get it done. I think the Browns okay. win this game and I think they win decisively. So I'm gonna take them covering. The 12 and a half. Betting on Baker, I guess. Um, four and five 49ers are going on the road to face the Jacksonville Jaguars, two and seven. Niners are favored by six and a half points in this one on the road. Which way are you going in this one? Come on, I'm going with the Niners. Too. I, yeah, huge win, huge win. I'm going with the Niners, man, down in Duval, and I have them covering, um, covering your spread. So, San Fran across the board for me. And that long trip, long trip. This is a short week too. Didn't uh, didn't the Niners play? Was that Monday night or Sunday night? Mm. No, it was prime time. It's, yeah, I think it was Sunday night. Okay, so short week, somewhat flying across the country. Jacksonville been playing. You know what? I got the Niners winning. I got Jacksonville to cover. Okay, Niners winning. Jacksonville covers, but Niners, you know, physical game last week. Uh, took it to the Rams from jump. Mm-hmm. Um, had some plays go that way early. Jimmy G looked sharp. Yeah, he did. Jimmy Ward, shout out, shout out. Hey, shout out to my young boy Jimmy Ward, man. Um, set set the tone from the set jump. The tone, set the tone, man, and uh, talk to him after the game, man. So, um, shout out to my young boy J Dub. Yes, sir. Love to see it. So, um, 
I'm going Niners win. Jaguars cover. Jaguars they done covered two last two weeks. Obviously beat the Bills and then covered against our Colts. So I say the Jags cover again. Woo, five and five Colts on the road at the six and three Buffalo Bills. The Bills are favored by seven points in this one. Where you going? It's a tough one, man. This, this is, is a, a tough, tough one. one. Um, I'm going with the Bills, man. I'm going with the Bills. I uh, hate to say it, but their defense is on fire right now. Um, you know, you know, Jay Allen and you know, and company doing their thing. Our coach, though, um, if they can get this one, I think it'll be huge for them in the AFC um, race. Um, mm-hmm. I think it's going to be a, a tight, a tight game. I hate to say it, but I'm going with the Bills on this one, and I have them covering. Oh, got the Bills winning, Bills covering. Uh, came out with the vengeance last week. Obviously, got took that loss to the Jags week before that. I got. I think I'm. I think I'm gonna go with the Colts on this one, man. I think I'm gonna go with the Colts on this one, on the road. A little revenge game now. Nah, Carson wasn't there, so it won't be. Re- but on the road, Frank Wright going into his own stomping grounds. I'm gonna take the Colts with this one, man. Rose should be back in the lineup. He should know digs. He should have a good game. I'm going with the Colts against the spread plus seven, but I got the Bills winning closer at home. Bills winning closer at home. Hey, I, I hope I'm Colts wrong. Against the spread. I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm I do wrong. too. And I, I and I honestly, I wouldn't be surprised at all. The value is some great value here if you bet in money line, coach. Probably like plus two sixty, I think. But um, this one could go either way, man. But this seven points way too big. I don't know why you got the Bills covering. That will not happen. I'm gonna say that right now so I can clip this up. That ain't gonna happen. Coats against the spread. Hope I'm wrong, buddy. Bills, Bills, Bills winning close. Hey, here heart. we go. My mind, man. Yeah, yeah. Here we go, man. We got the Miami Dolphins going to New York, facing off with the Jets. Dolphins three and a half point favorite, coming in three and seven. The Jets is two or seven. D. But who you got? Jets starting think. Joe Flacco too. I'm going to Dolphins though. I'm going to Dolphins. Uh, Tua has a, a a decent game. Dolphins win. Dolphins cover. I'm with you on this one. I got a uh, Dolphins winning. Dolphins covering. Uh, the Jets, they'll probably play like two quarterbacks this game. Heard it here first. Hey, uh, hey, three hey. six. So we just talked about this one before uh before getting on. Yeah. Um three and six Washington football team led by Ron Rivera going on the road back to his old stomping grounds where he got his first gig as a head coach to the Carolina Panthers. Bank of America. Is it still Bank of America Stadium? Yeah. I know they I changed ownership. So. Not sure if they changed I naming so. yet, but Bank of America Stadium. Uh, the Panthers are favored by three points. Five and five Panthers. New quarterback. Old quarterback. Second time around. Camp 2.0. Back in Carolina at home. Does he win his debut at home as a starting quarterback for the second time around? He said he's back. Hey, I got the Carolina Panthers winning, and I have them covering the momentum and the energy in that building, that stadium, and that locker room. Um, like you said, Cam 2.0 has brought that back. Um, I think it's going to be a great matchup. Uh, watch the football team, Tyler Heineke, coming off a huge win against the Tampa Bay Bucks. But then going on the road, man, I have the Carolina Panthers winning and covering. Hey, I, I could, I could, I could feel like an idiot after this one, but. Even that, I'm going to watch the football team, man. Impressive win last week against the Bucks, against the Defender Champs. Um, and the way that they ended the game, like the way that they ended that game on a 10 minute, 20 some mm-hmm. second drive, put it in the Impressive. end zone. Um, you know, started the game off fast on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, they're gonna be they're gonna be amped up for this one. They three and six right now, and it's crazy as it sounds. I still think they're somewhat in the, like they're not eliminated at all. Still somewhat in the hunt. In a division that's you know competitive, so I'm gonna say Washington football team gets this win on the road in Bank of America Stadium and spoils Cam's return. Okay, we're gonna see about this one. Damn, I hate to say it. Hey man, we got the Baltimore Ravens six and three, six point favorite going to Shad Town, 
Khalil Mackless side. Yeah, man. Chicago Bears. Um, going on IR. Chicago Bears coming in three and six. Who you got in this one, D Buck? Uh, Lamar been out, been out. You know, with uh, an illness. They, they didn't say exactly what it was, but he missed a couple week, couple of days of practice. Came back yesterday, I believe. But I remember the last time this happened. I bet against him. I think it was the Broncos. And I felt like a damn fool on Sunday, so I won't do it again. I'm going with Lamar Jackson, who still should be in the MVP hunt, by the way. Um, on the road, over the Bears, he gets the win, the Ravens cover. Hey, I'm right there with you. I got the Baltimore Ravens taking care of business. Um, yeah, got him winning, and I have him covering. Yes, sir. Hey, hey, I think it's going to be a good one, surprisingly. Yeah. Um Eagles are favorite, but we got the New Orleans Saints five and four going to Philly. Got the Eagles two and a half point favorite coming in at four and six. Who you got this one, D Buck? I got the Saints. Saints go on the road. Saints get a win. They lost some tough ones back to back. Had a very uh funky call last week against the Titans that cost them big. But I think uh Trevor Simeon's been playing some good football. So is Jalen Hurts, though. This Eagles team is definitely not any slouches. You see their favorite. Um, if you look at this game preseason, you definitely would have thought the Eagles would be favoring this one. But uh, I'm gonna go Saints don't lose three in a row. They go, they get a win. Saints lose three in a row, man. I'm going in, uh, I'm going with the Philadelphia Eagles. Well, no, hold on, wait. The Saints they beat um they beat the Bucks. My bad. They did, they did. So yeah, this would be yeah, but I'm going with Philly. You got Philly? I got Philly, man. I got them winning and I have them covering. Uh, like you said, the young boy Jalen Hurst been playing some good ball. Playing defense good. Been, defense been got me over thinking. Doing some um some good things on defense side of the Slave ball. Slaving balling. Slaving balling. Yeah, man. So I'm going with the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, early in the year, I really wasn't on this um on this wagon, but slowly but surely, man, another one in the NFC East. Like you said, mm-hmm. it's competitive. Damn, these some tough games this week. Yes, sir, it is. This 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 another tough one, man. Shit. Cause I'm thinking Saints defense. I think they got the better defense. Philly been doing some good things on defense as well. But I think the, the Saints got the better defense. Man, pick make your pick. Hold on, man. I'm, I'm trying to Kamara's out. <laughs> Damn, this is tough, man. Shit. I gotta take the Saints, man. Saints plus okay. two and a half. Saints win, Saints cover. There you go. I'm not feeling. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not feeling good about these picks, y'all. But shit, I've been feeling good about the last pick, so maybe it's. <laughs> maybe it might it's be a good thing. Might be a good thing. <laughs> maybe it's what I need. Uh, two and seven, Houston, Texas, on the road, division rival, Tennessee Titans. Tennessee Titans are favored by ten points. They're coming in with an eight and two record. I think I know which way you're going in this one. You know what way I'm going with this. One. <laughs> I got, I got the Tennessee Titans, man. I have them winning. I have them covering. Um, and this week 11 matchup against the Houston Texans. I got Titans winning. I have the Houston Texans cover. Tyra Taylor, B. Cook, some boys find a way to cover and make this an ugly week 11 AFC South yeah. brawl. That, tight, that tight defense, boy. They've Whew. been playing. They've been balling. They've been balling. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to go Texas cover. Titans win. But it's gonna be a week, uh, man. This 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 is the one right here. It's a tough one, man. You got the Cincinnati Bengals five and four. I'm um, going to Las Vegas to take it on the Raiders. Also five and four. The Bengals. One you know point what? favorite. So basically it's a toss up. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to find me a coin right Get now. A coin and flip. Man. I ain't man. even gonna hold it. Who you, you, you got in this one, man? Let me get an app. You know, I took I took the Raiders last week, and you know they didn't come through. Um, I'm gonna take them again, man. You know, we kind of discussed early in this season when the Bengals was on on a roll, like how that young team could handle success. Um, yep. I haven't I haven't seen them handling the success um, as well as I wish or hope. Um, I'm gonna go with the Raiders, man. I, I think they find a way to to pull this one out. Oh. Matter of, <laughs> matter of fact, let me look at my notes for this one. Some somebody gotta have an edge somewhere. All right, Raiders got the better turnover ratio, plus four. The Bengals are minus four. Defense, toss up, both giving up 360 a game. 
Offense, Raiders getting 383 a game, Bengals 360. Quarterbacks are pretty comparable. You going Raiders? I'm going Raiders, bro. I think I'm with you. I'm going Raiders, too. But I'm going to flip this coin anyway. Raiders heads. Now Raiders tails. <laughs> Bengals heads. And we got tails. Raiders it is. Raiders plus one. There you go. But that's a toss-up. It's another as crazy as it sounds. Yeah, I told you, Vegas know how hot these uh Vegas know how hot these Vikings are. Huh? Well, you and Vegas, y'all off a of fifth of Henny or something. <laughs> hey, we got the Green Bay Packers going to Minnesota. Divisional battle, Green Bay eight and two, Minnesota hot coming in hot <laughs> with a four or five record. <laughs> Who you got in this one, D Buck? I'm going with A Rod, man. A Rod not losing this game at this point in the season, especially with his defense playing the way it is. Aaron Rodgers' second game back is dealing with that secret toe injury, but I got A Rod in the Green Bay Packers defense getting a win. I'm a, I'm a little concerned here because Aaron Jones out, Big Bob Tunyon's out. Those are two big pieces of this offense, but I think they can figure it out. I got yeah, the Packers. Who so you got? They can figure it out, man. I got Pat P coming back for the Minnesota Vikings, but. Again, divisional battle. I got the Green Bay A Rod um, coming out with a huge, huge victory this week, taking them to nine and two. Now this game does mean more to the Vikings right now. They hot. They gonna be good. They hot. <laughs> Every game, man. I can go either way. This is another one. Um, Kyler Murray returning back to the lineup. DeAndre Hopkins will be out, but um. Eight and two Cardinals going to roll another divisional battle. A lot of big divisional games this week. Now, this doesn't look like a big one because of a huge difference in records. Seattle Seahawks will be at home. Three and six Seahawks coming off a shutout loss against the Packers. Which way are you going in this one, man? I'm going Arizona Cardinals. Um, did not look good for the Seattle Seahawks last week. At still all. Don't, still don't think. Russ should be out there playing at, at this juncture, um, coming off that that finger injury. But I'm going to go with uh, the Arizona Cardinals. I have them winning, and I have them covering. I'm with Matter you. of fact, no. I have the Arizona Cardinals winning, but I have Seattle. It's one and a half I point got Arizona. Game, I got Arizona. <laughs> I got Arizona. I was about to say, but you bet on a one-point game? Because – uh i'm going with the cardinals in this one i'm right with you and i think this is we start to see the beginning of the end of russell wilson and the seattle seahawks after this one seahawks gonna fall to three and seven Ooh. um cardinals gonna move to nine and two once they go that three and seven they pretty much especially in that division they pretty much out of the playoffs and i, I want to say you might have picked seahawks to be third or fourth in this division this I but you ain't see that Russ. You, you ain't nah, see that I, Russ injury coming though. You ain't no, I ain't see the Russ, but I just knew what uh what the Rams they were, they were struggling what before the, that too. What the Cardinals was going to do, so I definitely had them third and fourth in the um in the division. I but still, hey, I, I still don't believe in the Rams yet. But um, we both on the same page here. Cardinals on the road, get a win, get a cover. Hey, B, don't think Russ should be out there yet. I do not. Man, 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 another good one. Um, we got the Dallas Cowboys seven and two at Arrowhead facing off with Kansas City coming in six and four and also a two and a half point favorite. Who you got in this one? Man, uh Dome team going to roll late November to Arrowhead. No Amari Cooper. No Coop. Coop is I'm still right with the Cowboys, man. I feel like they're the more complete team. Dak has been out playing Patrick Mahomes all year. I know Mahomes had a big game last week. But he's, you know, not been himself. This may be where he figures it out. But I like the Cowboys. I like Dak on offense. Even with Coop out, Gallup coming back in the lineup. Still got weapons in the backfield. O-line getting strong. Cowboys. Cowboys got the better defense to this point as well. So I'm going Cowboys plus two and a half here. They win and they cover, obviously. Yeah, man. Um, Kansas City has been playing better as of late. Um, but I don't think they get this one done. Um, I think it's going to be a tough matchup, tough game, but I got Dallas Cowboys winning um, and covering, obviously. Yep. Yeah. Uh, that's 
before we go to the next, you can bring us in this next one. Huh? Sunday night football. Sunday night football. You know, this is another big matchup. Steelers 5 3 and 1. You know, without TJ Watt, without Mika Fitzpatrick, playing the Chargers. Five point favorite coming in 5 and 4. I think this is going to be a, a good, good matchup. Um, who you got in this? Because of those names you just mentioned, Minka, Hayden, Watt, I think all three of those who are big, <laughs> big time winners for that defense, man. Uh, they're going to need it this week to get a win. They won't have those guys. Big Ben will be coming back off of uh, his COVID stuff. Um, I got Justin Herbert at home getting a win, getting a cover, a much needed win by the way so uh i mean for both of these teams really but i got the Chargers win i got the Chargers cover don't leave us just yet ab get, give us one more week dog give man, us one more week this is tough but like you said man with them three dogs out on the um, defensive side of the ball for pittsburgh steelers man that's tough i've been riding with y'all pause for for two weeks man y'all been letting me down <laughs> um but i'm gonna go one more week I'm gonna go one more week. I think y'all figure it out. I think Justin Herbert has a um a good week. So I'm gonna go with the Chargers, man. Have them win and I have them cover. There we go. Chargers but, win, Chargers cover. Okay. Uh oh, hold on. But nah, I ain't gonna say that. I'm gonna go. I'm rocking with y'all. Yeah. Uh and hopefully this is the week that the OC Lombardi open it up a little bit, man. We ain't got 90 up front coming after us. We ain't got two, three out there. We ain't got three. Not come on, yo. let the thing fly. Yeah. Come on, Lombardi. Uh, no, another block. These guys played Monday night last year, didn't they? Giants almost beat them, too. New York Giants, three and six on the road, going down to Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay favored by 10 and a half points coming off back to back losses. Um, six and three on the season. Who you got in this one? Man, I have the Bucks coming off that disappointing loss last week. I have the Bucks winning, but I have the Giants covering. Mm. The Bucks ain't it ain't been doing good with these big spreads. I'll tell you that much. I had pause with them in the last week going against the football team. I saw why. Uh, Eagles, they didn't cover Dallas. Uh, you know what? I'm I'm right there with you. I got the Bucks winning. I got the Giants covering. Now, uh, wait, AB coming back this game? Think so. Well, if they won back, and, and you got the world, you know, hold on now. No, nah, I did this last week. I, I hit tone and switched <laughs> this pick last week. And I would have had one more better red eye, so I'm going with the Bucks winning. Giants cover. I'm gonna, stay, I'm gonna stick with my first mind on this one. Whoa, this is a scary tough week. week. Yeah, it is. It's a scary week. Tough man. week. Reminder, tough week. As always, hit the mailbag. DB two zero two T O A B four one at gmail.com. DB twenty two A B forty one at gmail.com. Hit us with your mailbags. We answer them live on air. Monday, Thursday, 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. It's the Man to Man Pod Pick Show, man. I'm scared. I scared. Hey, <laughs> there you have it, baby. There you have it, man. Y'all have a good one. We'll see y'all on Monday. Enjoy your Peace. Sunday. Peace.